Valentine's Day is the holiday where you expect to be spoiled by the one who loves you. But if you're the talented pacer, Jeremy's successor, well, you don't have to wait until February 14th to be all pampered and fussed over. Jeremy's successor is a 10-year-old pacer who's made almost $900,000 in his career. He's raced 192 times with 42 wins, 38 seconds, and 27 thirds. The standout side wheeler was voted the 2011 Horse of the Meat at Harrington Raceway. And he's proven to be a major threat each season. He goes behind the gate at Dover Downs as well. Jeremy's successor has been trained by Chrissy Christman Beer and her husband, Sean Beer, for three and a half years. And as Chrissy tells us, there was a connection from the moment he stepped foot in her barn. He, he's a good old boy, good old classy guy, and he's a sweetheart. And I just fell in love with him. So tell me about some of his quirks, because when you bring him to the races, he's not necessarily like your typical horse. I mean, he even has a race bike just for him, right? Right, because he's a little too fat for a regular bike. It pinches him, so he's got to have a wider bike, because um, he eats way too many treats. <laughs> That's probably my fault, but he deserves them. Um, he just... He's weird. There's certain things I know when he's going to race good, when he's not going to race good. He's got his little quirks. What's the deal with him drinking water? Like, he won't drink any water after he leaves the barn? No, he doesn't really like water anywhere else. I've even brought water from home, and maybe once he's taken a sip or two. So I just usually shove a hose in his mouth and try to get him some water that way. But he waits till he gets home, and then he sucks down about two buckets of water. His bridle is extremely unique. First of all, tell me about the, the headband, the little brow band. Um, I make them all their own headbands, but they're brow bands. They're made out of Savosky crystals. I like them to have a little bit of bling. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and there's a metal on the side, like something that's really, really neat. I, I couldn't believe it when I saw it. Yeah, I have a St. Francis um, metal on his bridle it's um, to protect your pet and it's um, it says God bless Jeremy so you get really nervous when he races I mean I assume like more nervous than any other horse that you have in the barn right he's probably the only one I get nervous about <laughs> are you still nervous yes <laughs> I'm still nervous you're already make nervous sure he came back okay okay all right then I'll be fine I was gonna say are you already nervous for next week <laughs> that too <laughs> I don't usually have pets because, you know, growing up in this business, you're, you're taught not to have pets. And he's about my, he's my only one. I don't really love anybody else like I love him. And he's 10 now, right? Yep. And he seems to be like he's as good as ever. Yeah, he's, he's good. He's, he's coming into his own. <laughs> 10 years old. <laughs> yeah, no. He's, 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 he's a good old man. He's all class. That's all. Obviously, you love him. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's apparent. Now, do you think that he loves you? And if he could speak English, what would he say to you, do you think? Probably more treats, because he loves his treats. Do you think that he would say back to you, you know, I love you too? I hope so, because I love him. He's a good boy. Everybody loves him. For our final race of the show, we're bringing in a group of nine pacers going behind the starting gate over the First State Capitol racetrack, Dover Downs. And in this full field, you'll see that number nine is the classy, gutsy, and talented Jeremy Successor. There off there goes Dream Fair Kovu out for the lead along with Main Do 2. Jeremy's successor gets away in third, followed by High Sir. Meg's boy is fifth, racing up sixth. That's Rusty Skip. Then it's artistic director, don't you know, and Oria Norier trails the field midway on the first turn, and Dream Fair Kovu comes out with a two-lane lead over Main Do 2. Close up third is Jeremy's successor. Then it's about two and a half more to High Sir. 27 seconds flat for Dream Fair Kovu. Sitting in second is Main Do 2, followed by Jeremy's successor, High Sir, got away in fourth. Meg's boy is there, fifth. Then comes Rusty Skip. Rusty Skip moves to the outside. Two lanes to artistic director. Another gap 
Don't You Know and Aurea Nourier trails into the clubhouse turn and Dream Fair Covu leads by a length and a half over Main and two. Here's Jeremy's successor to the outside. High serve follows, makes way up the inside, fifth outside, sixth. That's Rusty Skip, 55 and two fifths. They make their way up the back stretch. Dream Fair Kovu, a half length. Coming up alongside now is Jeremy's successor. Those two are heads apart as they go toward the far turn. In third now is Main and two outside, but not gaining. In fact, dropping back a bit is high serve, force three wide, Rusty Skip. Dropping back also is Meg's Boy, 122 and three fifths. They race around the final turn. Jeremy's successor on the outside, edging past Dream Fair Kovu. Another two or two and a half to Main and two. And they're at the top of the stretch, turning for home. Jeremy's successor comes off the turn with the lead, and Jeremy's successor begins to move away. It's Jeremy's successor. Holding second is Dream Fair Kovu. Mainadu two is third. Then it was Rusty Skip and one fifty and two fifths. Jeremy's successor with Hall of Famer Ron Pierce in the bike wins in one fifty and two. It was another huge effort for the ten-year-old, who's owned by Heavenly Ways of Delaware for trainer Chrissy Christman Beer. Dream Fair Kovu was second, while Mainadu two took third.